Hi, Dale Scott, retired Major League umpire. I'm going to try to give you some tips today to help you de-escalate situations when it gets really heated on the field. Remember, when you arrive at a venue, you are being judged by everybody there the moment you get there, from players and managers and coaches and fans. So be professional, look good, and do things with a purpose. You don't want to lazily walk up to the ground rule meeting or act like uh, with your body language that you don't want to be there. Because trust me, uh, if they think you don't want to be there, <laughs> uh, already you're losing the game. In your ground rule meeting, introduce yourselves, get the coaches' names, go over the ground rules, uh, go over the lineups, uh, answer any questions and let them know that uh, you're available for any uh, clarifications or questions uh, that they may have during the game. Granted that maybe you have to wait between innings or something to do it because uh, you know the game must go on. It depends on the situation. But let them know that you're open to that. Once the game uh, gets going and you do have a situation, listen, listen to what they have to say. I mean, usually a player or a coach, if they feel like they're not being listened to, that you're not taking them seriously, well, that's not going to help the situation. But once they've explained what they think should have happened or what they think did happen, then explain what you have. If it's a judgment call, maybe it's just a disagreement. Uh, I had him out, coach, you had him safe, we're going to move on. Uh, maybe it's a rule that you can tell them. I, it's not me saying this. This by rule has to happen. Or, or maybe it's something like intent. Uh, for example, a base coach didn't intend to get in the way of the fielder going after a pop-up, but he did get in his way. And no matter, even though he didn't mean to, you're still going to get an out on that. If you're in a situation with a coach or player and now they are uh, leaving the situation, they're going back to the dugout or back to their position, good, that's the direction we want them to go. You don't have to have the last word, something that's gonna make them turn around and come back at you. Let them go. You know, ejections happen. Ejections are in the rule book. And so sometimes they're unavoidable, avoidable. but usually, if you do some of these tactics I'm talking about by listening, explaining, being calm and professional, usually the player or the coach ends up ejecting themselves because they just won't stop or they just won't take your answer uh, as you're trying to get the, uh, the game proceeding and, and moving forward. Know that uh, most of the time, if you can de-escalate, if you can keep the temperature down, get it down from uh, what it is uh, going on on the field, usually you can avoid those ejections. And hopefully uh, with uh, uh, a lot of uh, restraint and patience and uh, some of these tips, uh, things will go smoothly for you. Good luck in all your games and uh, hopefully uh, things will go real smoothly and you can throw this video away. <laughs> Good luck.